Hi everyone, I'm Kate, and I wanted to tell you about an online class I'm starting up with, and it's called Watercolor Fresco Painting. What it is, is um, taking fabric and adding a layer of either Venetian plaster, or you can use a joint compound, and adding the layer and then and pulling and stretching and distressing to create these wonderful cracks and textures on the fabric. And on top of that, I've done an image transfer of one of my drawings. And then I painted with watercolor and gesso on top. So what I did is I started out, this is a drawing that I'll be using in the class. And now you can use any of your drawings any type of drawing. You can use a photograph if you don't have drawings. The photograph should be fairly light. You don't want it too dark because there is some bleeding when you do the, the transfer onto the fabric. So I usually go with light images. If you want to use a darker image, uh, you, you can incorporate the bleeding into your piece of work. That's what's so great about these image transfers. The flowers and all the surround are not image transfers. This is actual direct painting onto the fabric. So I started with full strength watercolors and I used, I think I only used about like five or six different colors to create this piece of work. And a lot of the color was using reds, blues, and yellows. And you can, and then combining them to create, uh, like for the flower here, I just started out applying uh, dabs of full strength yellow, then getting my tissue paper and dabbing it and creating this kind of modeled effect, which I like, which gives you more of that fresco kind of, kind of look. And then I added the reds on top of that. And, and then combine all three colors to to bring out some, some of the shadows. So the rose was actually pretty brilliant before I added the gesso. Like here, um, here's an example. And it's a good idea to, to do some little samples and to figure out how, you know, what color combinations you want to use. And on this one, I used the full strength watercolors. And then on the edges is where I dabbed into the gesso. And, and that just became a little more muted and brought, brought it into the background. So, you know, there's all kinds of different ways you can approach this. You can approach it, you know, leaving the flowers like this. Or what I did with this is, I, after applying the watercolors, I just went in on top with gesso and just it just kind of creates this kind of diffused almost encaustic looking image the whole reason that I, I got into the image transfer is I do like drawing and a lot of my drawings take a lot of time so and then I fall in love with them and I don't you know I want to use them again and so for me doing the transfers with my drawings is is a perfect way to go. Here is another example of that same image. I just started this one. And as you can see, this transfer is look is darker than this one. And uh, and then I just applied applied it a little differently. But here I'll have another piece of artwork. People have asked me about about my faces and how I create them. And this is another class that I'll be like, I'll be starting soon. That class is in the works, and uh, I'm really excited about this process. I just started exploring this a couple months ago, and I love it. I think there's like so many different things you can do with this. And so I wanted to share them with you as I'm learning and discovering them myself. So I hope you will join me. Thank you.